The object.freeze function in JavaScript takes away the mutability of an object. In other words, once you freeze an object, you're unable to then make changes to it, such as adding a new property, changing a value of an existing property, or removing a property from the object. So as an example, I've got a object called user with two properties, username and member since. We're now gonna freeze the object, we'll say, object.freeze, then pass through the user object. Now we're gonna console.log what the object looks like after you freeze it. You're gonna get the exact same thing. It's still the object, right? But between the console log and the freeze, let's try to change uh, the member since property to be instead 2018 rather than 2017. I'll save this, run the script again, and we can see that the member since remains at 2017. Let's remove that freeze line and do it again, it's 2018. So object freeze disallows you to change your properties as well as add new properties. Let's say user dot uh, active is equal to true. This user is active, fair enough. Run the script, the property is not added. Let's try to delete user dot username. Deleting, uh, deleting the property is also not gonna work, username remains, okay? If you want to have errors be thrown when this is used, simply add the use strict uh, to the top of your JavaScript file. You run it now and you actually get an error to say you cannot perform this operation. So this here is useful for anything that should not change throughout your application. Think about things like constants or uh, config values and things like that. It may come in handy to protect your code, especially when doing maintenance later on. And that is all for this video. If this one helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to Decode. And here is another video.